Welcome every online viewers to the Miller Online tutorial. Here is this uh, series of equation we need to solve. This is an exponential equation and this is a logarithmic equation. Now how do you solve for x and y? Now first of all let us reduce them to a simple algebraic expression. Let's make this equation 1. Let's make this equation 2. Alright now reducing this we can you can see the lowest uh, base here is 2. Let's change this to a base of 2. And by doing that, we have 2 raised to the power of 2x minus 3y on the left hand side. Now, changing this to the base of 2, here we have 2 raised to the power of uh, 5. Why? Because 2 times 2 in 5 places will give us a uh, 32. And what we're doing, we can now eliminate the two bases since they are the same. Here we have 2x minus 3y equals to 5 all right so we can make this equation 3 now i'm bringing this also reducing it to a simple algebraic expression here we have log x base y equals 2 now using indices or transforming it to indices we can have we will have that x equals to y is the power of uh, 2 yeah x equals to y raised to the power of 2. Now let's make this equation of 4. Oh, I guess somebody might be asking how do I do this? Now let us come over to this place. We have log x base y equals 2. Now what we want to do is, is introduce log y base y on the left hand side. We have s base y equals to 2 log y base y and you might be asking why I introduced this take note this is 2 times 1 since it's just a whole number so we know that according to the law of uh, log reading log a base a equals what 1 and since we are having a base log base y here so we can make this log y base y and as such we have log x base y equals log y raised to power 2 base y so we can just eliminate and we're left with what x right so from this we can now solve since x equals to y raised to the power 2 we can plug in 4 into equation 3 and by so doing here we have 2 y raised to the power 2 minus 3y then equals 5 okay now i guess we are arriving to a quadratic equation minus 3y minus 5 equals 2 all right solving this by factorization here we have a negative 10y square now what are we going to multiply to give us minus 10 and we are to give us minus 3 there we have it uh, we have 5 and uh, 2. Now since they are negative, so we introduce negative here. So, you have 2y square minus 5y plus 2y minus 5 all equals to 0. Now you factor out. So here we have factor out y. We have 2y minus 5. Then plus 1 is factored out there. You have 2y minus 5. So at the end of the day, we have the y plus y equals to 0. And uh, 2y minus 5 equals to 0. So in this case, we can see that y equals to minus 1 or okay, negative 1 or 5 all over 2. Now to this end now, since we have that, we, we can see that y has two variables here. Definitely x we need to be of two variables all right so uh we can solve for x so as so doing here we can just plug in these variables one by one into this so here you have x equals to for y is about two is plug in so minus one is the power of two here you have what one now for this we have x equals 
Now here we are 5 over 2 all raised to the power of 2. This will give us 25 over what 4. So for the values, so when y equals to minus 1, x equals 1, and when y equals 5 over 2, x equals 25 over 4. Alright, these are the final answers. Thank you. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new to this channel. God bless you.